Well, good morning. Today we are going to do a couple of different things. The first thing we're going to do is really quickly review the four types of space. So it's important to know about space when you're working in 2D and 3D art. So we're just going to review that really quickly and you're just going to answer this question this morning. And if you need a little help, you can check out these slides and also the space video that we watched. I think the first week of school, you could go back and watch that as well. So you're going to get that done. Then if you still need to finish up your texture drawings, they're not due until today at three o'clock. Make sure you do all three of them. You have to do the fur, the egg and the avocado. So make sure you get that done. Then we are getting ready to start on our big drawing unit performance assessment, our big test. This is how we do tests in here. You actually draw something. So what you are going to be doing is you have several options on what you want to do. So the big thing is, is that you're only going to complete one of these challenges. So down here, you will find your five options that you can pick from. You're going to read over those and you are going to select only one. You pick one of these to do. Then once you decide which one you want to do, you are going to start working on this. You are going to still complete this in your sketchbook, but make sure that you are using white paper. If you're still using a notebook for your sketchbook, you're going to need to get yourself a white piece of drawing paper for this assignment. This is a show worthy artwork. It is not a sketch. It is a fully developed drawing. It is the best drawing you have ever done in your life. It is expected that you will spend at least two hours on it. Set a timer and time yourself. If you are spending five minutes on your work, that is not long enough. You need to really be sure that you're spending two hours on this. Below, you will find the rubric so you can see exactly how you will be scored. No matter which prompt you pick, all of this will be considered. Of course, fully meets the challenge guidelines and you have a dynamic composition. You have to make sure you use the art elements of line, value, texture, space. Now, you can also add color. If you want to use color in this, that is absolutely fine, but it is not a requirement. But of course, color can always enhance your work of art. So if you want to use colored pencils on this, feel free to add in some color. Creativity is always a big part of this assignment, especially with these challenges. So make sure you are creative and think outside the box. Every person's work of art should be very different. No one's should look the same. All of these are original ideas. And then, of course, your craftsmanship. If it's a nice piece of paper, it's not wrinkledy, it's not ripped, it looks good, you've used your eraser to clean up all extra smudges, and of course you've managed your time, turned it in, and it looks really good. Now, I also, of course, know that some of you, this is the first time you've really tackled an assignment like this, so do your best, make sure you meet these requirements, and you will be fine. Here's your challenges you can pick from. So, you can pick one where you woke up today and you were only two inches tall. You're going to draw the space that you now live in. You know, what does it look like? Are you living in a Kleenex box? What do you have around you? So, you're going to include objects and draw your little space that you live in. Um, or you can do today you woke up and it's your 50th birthday. What do you think you're going to look like at 50? Draw your self-portrait. You know, how can you show things in a self-portrait? Like what goals and dreams did you achieve? Did you become a surgeon? Are you wearing your scrubs? Are you standing out in front of your law office? Are you lounging in your pool? What did you do? The third one. Today you woke up and found a creature scratching at your door. What is it? This is a never before seen creature. 
you're going to combine at least three animals together into one never be seen before seen creature. Feel free to use birds and reptiles and sea creatures. I say animals, but you can really get crazy with this, combining all sorts of things together. Then your fourth one, you woke up and the nightmare isn't over. You're still stuck in the scariest place imaginable. What does the scariest landscape you can think of look like? Just didn't draw it. And then the last one, you are a world famous restaurant owner. You are going to design your menu. What does it have on it? You're going to include some sketches and some drawings of some food. So what is your favorite food? How do you capture the texture of food in a drawing? How do you make it visually pleasing? How much does it cost? All of those things. So let me know if you have any questions about the prompts, but they are designed to be very wide open so that you can really be creative. The big thing is to make sure that you show off that you can use lines, values, textures, and space in a creative drawing. This is not due until the 21st, so you can't get started on this today, but you will also have Monday and Tuesday and sometime on Wednesday to work on this.